Given the coordinates of the vertices of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, describe three different ways to determine, using coordinate geometry techniques, whether the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. A quadrilateral is a four-sided figure. If the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then opposite sides are parallel. So let's say this is A, B, C, D. Then we should find that AD is parallel to BC, which means that the slope of AD equals the slope of BC. And also we should find that the other pair of opposite sides have the same slopes. If they have the same slopes, then they're parallel. So this is method one. We could get slopes of opposite sides. If the slope of AD is equal to the slope of BC and the slope of AB is equal to the slope of DC, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Parallel lines have the same slope. A second method would be to consider the midpoints of the diagonals of the quadrilateral. So we have our quadrilateral. I'm going to draw it like a parallelogram, but of course it may not be a parallelogram. We're trying to see if it is a parallelogram. But we could uh, take, say, this diagonal here, get its midpoint, note down what it is. Then we could go and look at the other diagonal. Now if the other diagonal has the same midpoint as the first diagonal, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. We're just using the fact that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Bisect means half each other. So that this distance equals this distance, and this distance here equals this distance here. Of course, the four distances are normally not the same, unless the parallelogram is a rectangle. In general, it doesn't have to be a rectangle. So, we would get the midpoint of the line segment AC and the midpoint of BD and see if they're the same. If they're the same, it's a parallelogram. If they're not, well, it's not a parallelogram. Finally, to test to see if the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, we could look at opposite sides of the quadrilateral and look at their lengths. It's a fact that for a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal in length. So this side here will equal this side here, and this side here will equal this side here. So AB equals DC, and AD equals BC. Using one of the methods you described, determine whether the quadrilateral with vertices minus 4, minus 2, 21, minus 5, 8, 7, and minus 17, 10 is a parallelogram. Um, the quickest method is probably method 2 look at the midpoints of the diagonals. Now assuming that this quadrilateral has its vertices labelled anti-clockwise, then minus 4 minus 2 would be here. Uh, well actually the relative positions aren't that, too, that, aren't that important. Um, but let's just lay it out like this. Let's just assume that these are it's an anti-clockwise labeling of the corners so that we get the midpoints of the correct line segments. Let's say this is 8, 7. And then this point up here is minus 17, 10. Of course, it doesn't look like this, but the idea is that the line joining minus 4, minus 2, and 8, 7 should be one of the diagonals of the parallelogram. That's the idea. So the line joining the first point given here and the third point should be a diagonal, and uh, the line joining 21 minus 5 and minus 17, 10 should also be a diagonal. So what we're going to do is get the midpoints of both of these diagonals. If the midpoints are the same, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So how do we get the midpoint of this line here? Well, we just average the x values and then average the y values. So I'm not going to draw this out properly in a diagram. I just work out 27 plus minus 17 which is plus 4, divide that by 2, um, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 
then we get the mean of the y values, or y1 plus y2 over 2, plus 10 minus 5 is 5, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So the midpoint of this diagonal is 2 comma 2.5. Now, I'm not showing it on the other diagonal because we're trying to prove that the midpoints are the same. So now let's look at the midpoint of this diagonal here. So we get x1 plus x2 for this diagonal, or the mean of the x values. So we have 8 minus 4 divided is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And the mean of the y values is minus 2 plus 7 is 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So we get the same midpoint for both diagonals. That means that um, the diagonals bisect each other. And if the diagonals bisect each other, it means that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So we have a parallelogram formed by these four points. So you just need to get the midpoint of both line segments, and you'll get the same get the same answer you can conclude that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram.